Hey guys, what is up? Welcome to my channel. So for today's video, I am going to be reviewing the new Too Faced Pretty Rich palette. So if you're interested in hearing my thoughts, then just keep watching. Alright, so I wasn't going to do this review uh, just because so many people have reviewed it already, but I figured some of you would be curious on my opinion, so here we go. <laughs> Plus, I mean, it is gorgeous. Anyways, the major facts about this palette, it is currently available right now on Sephora, the Too Faced website, and I believe Ulta's website. I'm not 100% sure on that, but it's definitely going to come to Ulta, and it's going to be available in stores in the near future. Not 100% sure on the date. <laughs> it is $49. It contains 16 Ultra Luxe shades of vivid glitters, creamy mattes, opulent shimmers, and precious pearls that can be layered in infinite ways to mimic the multifaceted beauty of real diamonds. So the packaging of this guy, it is pink and it is really, really chunky. Like half of this is completely unnecessary thickness wise. Um, it also has this padding on the front. Overall, I think the packaging is really cute. You wanna open it up and it does have a little mirror and then it has 16 eyeshadows. So based on my own personal judgment, you have four mattes, seven shimmers, one duochrome, and four of their new glitter formula. So instantly, the color scheme is actually pretty neutral with the exception of the bottom row. I do really like the color scheme. I think it's going to be really pretty for the holidays, especially for someone who's not too adventurous. I think it's a pretty decent color scheme. And then, of course, on the bottom, you do have these really neat shades for a deep smoky eye. And of course, that is what I went for for this look today, which I will get into in a few moments. Formulation-wise, the mattes, they blended beautifully. I didn't have any issues with them. The only thing that I wish was the darkest shade in here is this really warm brown. I wish they would have added a cooler color, which was just as deep, I feel, as though that would have been a nice addition. There is this matte black with a little bit of glitters. The glitters I didn't notice on my eyes, but this matte, by the way, blended absolutely beautifully, and that is really hard to do, and it also swatched very, very even as well, which is very very rare for a black so I really do like this black shade so the mattes get a thumbs up for me the shimmer shades in this palette I feel were not that good princess cut and highly selective in particular I felt less pigmentation and that is upsetting because I do know Too Faced in the past in their other palettes have a really good shimmer formula that's really pigmented and that just didn't show in this palette it took a lot of building to get the color to show up on my lid so I was pretty disappointed with the shimmers in this that being said the bottom shimmers silver spoon and set the jewel tone were really really beautiful I didn't have any issues with the pigmentation on those but these two I was actually quite disappointed in the quality with that which is upsetting because I feel like every shadow should be great there is also kind of a duo chromey color right here called clutch your petals this is really beautiful a little bit more of a chalky formula but definitely easy to work with it's the kind of color where you need to put a little bit on and then spread it out to get the full effect this is a really beautiful inner corner color. And then of course, the most exciting part of this palette to me was their glitter formula, which is a new formula for them and it's actually a gel pressed glitter formula. So you're not supposed to need a glitter glue. You're able to put it on your finger and just pat it on your eyelid. So I did test that out and honestly, you really don't need a glitter glue. I think if you do put a glitter glue down, that will add extra security to the glitter because there was a little bit of fallout throughout the day, but nothing too crazy. But I do like the ease of not needing to pack a glitter glue and just being able to pat it on your lid. Honestly, I think it's a really good formula. So a quick comparison, I did buy their glitter bomb palette this came out a couple years ago i believe it is it was limited edition and you can't get it anymore but these in the pretty rich palette are a complete different formula these are like more of a pressed glitter these are more of a shimmer with glitter in them so for example these aren't the same color but as you can see this is from the glitter bomb palette more of a base color and this is from the other palette the Pretty Rich palette, and it's just chunks of glitter. I mean, personally, I really liked the Glitter Bomb palette, but this is a different formula, and I'm such a glitter queen that I really do enjoy this glitter formula. A lot of them are more of a transparent base with glitter chunks in them, but this particular shade, Fluent in Diamonds right here, this has actually kind of a pigmented base. This is my favorite of the glitter formula in the palette. 
because the rest of them just don't have that pigmented base and I really do like it. But that being said, there is something to be said about having more of a transparent base because you can put whatever color underneath to really change up your looks. So this palette is really versatile in that you can layer it and really change up the looks. Quality wise, I did like it quite a lot, but like I said, the shimmer shades weren't that good and honestly, if it were up to me, I would have just replaced all of the shimmer shades and just put that new glitter formula in because I feel like if you're going to make a glitter formula, just go all out and do it all the way. If you added some really neat matte shades, you could just put those all over the lid and then layer the glitters on top to make something really cool. So personally, I found the shimmers to be unnecessary, but I mean, some people I know definitely will appreciate them. But like I said, if you're going to make a glitter palette, just go all out. Have some mattes to create the look and then glitters to finish it off. So overall, the color scheme of this guy, really neutral, really pretty, of course, with amazing pops of color. I do enjoy the quality of this. I do feel there was a few wasted colors that could have been exchanged for something better. If you're a Too Faced lover, I definitely would recommend this palette. It is decent quality. It's not their best. It's not their favorite palette of mine, but I do just... Palettes with different finishes are the new thing now, and I'm so excited about that just because it really makes the makeup look so much more exciting. You don't have to bring in other things. You can really create an awesome look for this. And I mean, it is just an awesome holiday palette, you know? The holidays is the best time for glitters, and you have it here. So if you're new to glitters and you want to get into these more chunky, funky glitter looks, this actually might be really good for you. So the application is very, very easy. So I'm going to quickly get into how I did this look. So I started off with the shade It's Designer, that matte cream color, and I just placed it underneath my brows as I always do, just to set that concealer and also to highlight underneath my brow. As my transition shade, I went in with Fancy That because it was the cooler of the two matte kind of brown transition shades, and I just put that all over my crease. I then took Coal Under Pressure on a stiffer blending brush and I blended that into the outer corner and that's where I became very impressed with this black formula. I really felt it blended out really beautifully, it looked very even on my eyelid and it was quite pigmented as well. Taking my finger, I took Set the Jewel Tone and I put that all over my lid. It is a beautiful purple blue duochrome of the shimmer shades in this palette. This was one of the better ones. Again, not the best shimmer formula, but it got the job done and it looked really beautiful. I would recommend applying it with your finger or with a wet brush though. Then taking my finger, which I think the best and only way to apply the glitter shades, I took Diamond Life with that finger. It's That's what's going to work best and I just pressed it onto my lid. What I find about these glitter shades is they're very, very buildable. So if you only want a little bit of glitter, you only need to really apply it once. But if you do want to build up the glitter, that is possible for a really great glitter look. What I really like about the gel formula is that I feel it is a lot easier to get an even layer of glitter all over your lid. Because sometimes I feel like when you use a glitter glue and loose glitter, sometimes where you first apply the glitter, it can chunk up in that area and look a little patchy. I didn't find that was an issue with the glitter in this palette because of that gel press formula. And I do love that it was blendable. For my lower lash line, I took a little bit of Silver Spoon, which is that deep gray sh shimmer color, and I just applied that along my lower lash line. I didn't have any problems with that shimmer color either. Again, not the best shimmer formula, but pretty good. The pigmentation of it was very nice and it looked well with this look. I then took Clutch Your Pearls and I applied that to my inner corner. Really beautiful, shifty pink color. Really like it, but again, it's that chalky formula. That color is a little bit chunky, which isn't that desirable of a formula, but when you just apply a little bit like to your inner corner, it doesn't cause any issues. And then I took a little bit of Diamonds for Breakfast and applied that to my inner corner. This color is going to be so great and versatile with so many looks. If you like brown eyeshadows, this is bomb for a brown eyeshadow. Something I would like to mention is that I feel like with the layout of this palette, if you go horizontally, you almost have the look made for you. So you don't have to think so much. So you have more of a brown look, you have more of a pink look, more of a golden look, and more of a cool tone. I mostly use these colors to create this look, by the way, so which makes it a lot more user-friendly. All right, so if you have any questions about what else I'm wearing on my face, it will be linked down below. I hope you guys enjoyed this really quick review of this palette. I do like it quite a lot. Not the best Too Faced has come out with, but it's absolutely stunning, and I am going to enjoy 
enjoy having this in my collection and reaching for it. So that being said, I hope you guys have a great day. Remember to subscribe to my channel and comment down below what you think of this palette. Did you pick it up? Are you skipping on it? If you did pick it up, what do you think of it? I would love to hear your thoughts. Anyways, thank you for watching guys. Bye!